Here we have a series of equations and our goal is to solve for d. If we check down where d is, all we know so far is that b plus d equals 18. And if we look for information about b, we see a plus b equals 15 and b times c equals 84. The only place we can find out an actual value for one of our variables is here with c, so that's where we're going to start. Right now we know that c divided by 4 gives me 3. So undo that and we'll multiply both sides by 4. So when I multiply both sides by 4, that's going to tell me that c is going to be equal to 12. So I'm going to take that and now I know that b times 12 is going to give me 84. Well I can use that now to find what my value of b is. Undo my multiplication with division and I'm going to divide both sides by 12. When I divide both sides by 12, that tells me that b is going to be equal to 7. Now at this point if I want, I can go over here and figure out that a in the long run is going to be worth 8, but I don't need that piece of information because now I know what b is worth and I need to solve for d. So b is worth 7, so that tells me that 7 plus d gives me 18. So again, I can undo by taking away 7 from each side. So when I do, that tells me that d is going to be worth 11. So at the end of the day, we found that d equals 11. We could have used this expression if we wanted to, but since we don't need a at the end of the day, we really don't have to because we still know that d is equal to 11.